Hello guys, welcome back to The Sauce with me, Murugi Gichovi. We are here with the beautiful Betty. Oh, Betty, how are you doing? I'm alright, I'm feeling great. It's a good night, it's going to be a good evening. Yes. Yeah, and I'm happy that you came. <laughs> how are you feeling about Kialo Culture Season 2? I feel so great. Do you know like getting a Season 2 is such a big deal and becoming a Showmax original is also a bigger deal. That means that our fans appreciated what we did on Season 1 and um, they wanted to see more. And this season we are bringing it. No, Give no, us some tea. No spoilers, no spoilers. But it's going to be a great season because I think um, for the first time we were able to just completely be raw with each other. You know, season one I think we were a bit just a bit timid, yes. you know, sharing our lives out there. But I think season two we've really brought it. And you'll see everybody with their claws, even Gloria, like all of us have just be become um, so solid with whoever we are and we are completely unafraid. Yeah. What did you like most about the whole production process yeah. and uh, you know the coming together of the show? I think for me, the, first of all, the team, the crew that we have from uh, uh, DNR is just simply amazing. Um, you know, they handle us so, so well. They listen to us. They respect our, our opinions, our feedback. I feel like that is the, one of the most fundamental thing, uh, things that you need for a successful show. Um, but I also love, you know, the wardrobe, you know, like the glams, the glam yes. looks and everything. Um, yeah, I think everything just came together so beautifully. Yeah. How do you think this season is different from the previous season like i said i mean i feel like season one we were very you know we, were very, we did not want to be very vulnerable um actually season one we really edited a lot of things that you know went on there <laughs> we would be like no remove that part but then season two i think we've been able to trust uh, dnr you know with the production and so we're like you know what we don't, we don't want to watch anything we want to be shocked when we see it on the screen so i feel season one you know we were very like we were very afraid to be who we are but I think season two, everybody will see a side of, of, of all the sisters in a way that they've never seen before. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. What does sisterhood mean to you? Oh my goodness, sisterhood is like, imagine having like a best friend for life. And whether, whether you know, you fight, whether you're, you like each other or not, you still, you know, you gotta talk someday. Yeah. And I feel for me, it's just like having best friends that I can just call up. Um, so for me, it's so, it's so special. And you know, like, I feel like we were all brought together for a reason. We bring different characters, you know, to, you know, our family. Um, and I just believe that, you know, yeah, we were meant to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite thing about your sisters? Um, oh my goodness, there's a lot. I mean, Mercy, for example, she's the best advisor. Like in terms of, if I want advice about business, relationships, yeah. she's always gonna see a guy and be like, eh -eh. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's like, shut that down. <laughs> um, so, and for Gloria, she's so warm, she's so sweet, and um, she's always very intentional about us having very deep conversations, mm -hmm. the ones that we don't always want to have. And so for me, I feel all of them have different characters to them, and I, yeah. and I just love them all. Yeah. It's like a cocktail, it's like a Long Island. Yeah, a mixture, a cool <laughs> a cocktail. A serious cocktail, yeah, yeah. And to think, you know, being a personality, being on TV and everything, uh, there must be challenges and social media yeah. and everything. How do you protect your mental health? Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, first of all, I don't read anything negative about me that is written about me. I just see a topic, I'm like, oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Um, I really have developed, uh, I don't want to say thick skin, because it's not normal to have thick skin as a human being. There yeah. are things that are still going to bring you down or make you feel some type of way. So for me, I don't even engage. Like, I see a nasty comment. Okay, sometimes when I'm, I'm a bit of a rebel, so sometimes yeah. I'm going to, if somebody writes something about my, myself, my family, my daughter, yeah. sometimes I take them down. Mm -hmm. But other times I'm just like, no, it's not, it's not, it's not worth my energy. Yeah. And I mean, everybody's going through. Everybody's going through everything, you know, these days. And I don't have to be liked by everybody. So me, I'm just like the ones who like me, they like me. The ones who don't, I'm happy for them. Wow. <laughs> it's good that you you put yourself in a space where people can't bring you down. No, no. That's good. Yeah. Um, talk to us about who you're wearing. You look very fine. Oh, yeah, so, this actually, so this is actually like a local designer. And um, I remember season one, we also did a local designer, but a lot of the show's outfits are from, you know, abroad and everything. Yeah. But I think for the launch, she just wanted to just support like, a, you know, a local, uh, you know, designer, Sim Posh. And he just does a fantastic job. And he, he delivered all the outfits for all the sisters. Yeah. And I just want to say big up Simon, like you did so great. And I'm just so happy that he's so gracious, you know, very patient with our schedules. I was so busy and he kept looking for me and I was, didn't have time. Yeah. And so I think he really delivered and I just like, it. it has this it's very it has this uh, what do you call it? Uh, Char Queen Charlotte yes. kind of feels giving is giving, giving. giving. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank for you, Scarlett. Thank you. Amazing. All right, let's enjoy this. <laughs>